with and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me. And if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging. And if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me. So I hope you'll help me out. Happy New Year! For some of you, you are still in 2023 here in Australia. It is now 2024, so hi from the future. Um, it is New Year's Day here in Australia, and I promised you all that I would do a bag room tour to kick off 2024. So here we are. So you'll notice I have nothing up behind me on the shelves because all my bags are currently away, so you can see how I store them. I hope wherever you are, you are having a safe New Year's Eve. Um, if you're watching this, you're probably very safe because you're at home, which is how I've spent New Year's Eve, just at home with my family. Um, my children are still quite young, so we don't go anywhere. And New Year's Eve is actually my son's birthday. Um, so yes, we were very much at home and just quiet um, and asleep. <laughs> So I hope however you've chosen to um, celebrate New Year's Eve has been festive and fun and safe. All right, let's do my bag room tour. I will lay down a few, not rules, but things that I would like to have observed in the comments down below. So it is important to remember that this is my home. It is also important to remember that I am a collector. So yes, I have all of these things for me. It is about the collecting of them and the having them, not how they are displayed. For me, displaying them um, functionality is the most important thing. So having enough space for everything, having them um, out so I can see them. So my bag room might not be what you think it's going to be because it's your thinking that I live one way and I live a very different way. So please try to remember that I live quite rurally. I live out in the country. My house is very much a country house. For now, our country house in the country suits us and we love it. Um, it's very much got a homely feel to it. It is not sleek, it is not architectural, it is not white or what you expect people with a lot of money to have. That's not how we live. We aren't flashy and we aren't showy as such. So um, I am sorry if you were disappointed in what you see, but this is my home. I have no issues um, deleting cruel comments or um, nasty comments or even turning comments off if it comes to that. I'm opening up my home and I hope that you will respect that this is my home. So I thought I'd start by turning you guys around and showing you what I see while I'm sitting in this chair and I film. Um, and then we'll take a look around and see what my bag room looks like. So um, I'd also say this is my bag room, um, not my wardrobe. So most of my clothes live in my walk-in robe off my master bedroom. Um, this room is a whole nother room in my house. It used to be a pool room. So the owners before us, this was their pool room. They had a full-size pool table in here. Um, and I divided and conquered this room um, when I took over the house and got rid of the pool table, much to my husband's dismay. Um, and this is now my room. So yes, it is a room, but it is not necessarily my wardrobe. It's my bag room. All right, let's spin you around so you can see what I see. Okay, so you are now currently sitting where I sit to film. So this is what I look at when I film. The camera is usually here on this little tripod. And then I've got my studio lights are still on. You can see my shoes are across from me. So when you see me looking off to look at the shoes, that's what I see. Studio lights, clothing and scarves. Oh, that's all gone very dark because of the lights, but we'll go have a closer look and then bags. So this is what I look at when I am filming and what I see. All right, let's go and have a closer look at all my bits and pieces. So I have now turned my studio lights off. So it's a little bit darker and you can see I still have the strip lighting for the shelves on. So these are my shelves. So you can see at the top there I have packaging that I have decided to keep. I don't keep a lot of packaging, but I do keep some packaging. So that's all my packaging up there. And then if I come in closer, you can see over here 
I've got gifts from Fendi. I've got books and teacups and candles. Down here I've got more of some of my favourite books and my snow globes. My Dior cups that were a gift and you can see I keep things in them that I need while I'm filming. Here is my M that my uh, mother gave me last Christmas and my beauty trunk. And of course over here we have Dale and Connor. Hi guys! And my peas. This was a gift from Louis Vuitton. It is a, um, the little bird goes up to the top and then works his way back down again. It was um, given to people in anticipation of one of Virgil's shows. So you can see the bag there that it came in. Um, and I love it. I think it's brilliant. So I keep that. And then if we go up here, we've got my trunk that I got as a gift for, um, from Anya. Um, one of the little Perspex cases that you can buy from Louis Vuitton. And I keep the camellias from Chanel in there. These are the last two years um, um, Lunar New, not Lunar New Harvest. The, the gifts that Louis Vuitton have given me. So they're there as well. So down here, which you guys don't see on camera, are drawers. So I've got three banks of drawers. And if I open them, we have all my clays and my wallets and all my little bibs and bits and pieces. And then... These are my beauty cases, pencil cases, kirigami set. And down here we have toiletry pouches and nieces. And then we go to the next one. We've got all the mini pochettes and wallets over there. We have my favourites and my Eva bags and my pochette accessoires. And sunglasses and these are more toiletry and um, packing cubes down there. And we come over here. We have Hermes, so we've got Bastia's and Calvi's wallets and all my bag charms live in there. And we have more toiletry pouches, cosmetic cases. And what's in the last one? Oh, oh Longchamp and paperwork, basically. So they're all my drawers that are in here. All right, let's go this way. So if I swing around this way, so there's a set of windows there. I've got the blinds closed at the moment. So you can see I've got my um, Fendi made to order permanently on the chair over there. And this is like a hat um, stand and I hang some of my older bags off it um, or bags that don't necessarily sit on their own. Plus I've got hats on it. So that's there. If we head in this direction. Oh. So in here we have a whole heap of bits and pieces. So we've got hats and scarves in that one up there. Uh, I think that's just bits and pieces. We have Hermes um, blankets. So ones that aren't currently in use. It's summer here, so none of my blankets are in use. Towels, um, so Hermes and Dior towels. Uh, more blankets, so really not in use at the moment. Um, storage for bits and pieces and what are you oh, uh, spare dust bags that aren't currently in use and for all those who say can you just find the receipt that's my receipt um, storage area also cards that I get bits and pieces so this is on my hit list for 2024 to sort out because this whole thing is receipts <laughs> so <laughs> I need to sort out the cards from the receipts what I need to keep and what I don't if we come up here we have the Chanel advent calendar from two years ago which was a ridiculously um, huge waste of money um, what I got from New York you can see I've got a basket full of all my headbands and a staff member years ago gave me that 
and I keep it. It says I'm not a New York girl, but I wish I was. And I really do love that. And then this was what Louis Vuitton gave me flowers in for my birthday and the flowers have died, but I've kept the balloon, which is great. All right, let's swing around. <laughs> the shoes, the wall of shoes. These are all my shoes. Um, yeah, you can see I've got a few shoes um, and they go this way as well. So my boots are over here. Um, I need more sto of these white storage things from um, Ikea. I think I need two more for now, possibly four more, um, to uh, handle the shoes that haven't been able to make it onto racks. But yes, these are all my shoes. So you can see I've got joggers, Hermes, many, many joggers, boots, and then we go up flats loafers, heels, my run of Fendi sequins are up there, and Bottega, my um, Louboutins are there, more boots, so many boots. We come down, we've got platforms, espadrilles, and um, Hermes Iran's down there. There's more boots. So there's a second row behind there that you can't even see. <laughs> um, lots of Vivaya shoes because I love Vivaya. Sandals. We go up. Boots. Love these boots. <laughs> they were for, I wore them for my hens. More shoes. Fendi. Louis Vuitton. Chanel. Manolo's at the top up there. So yeah, I, uh, I have a few pairs of shoes, just, just a few. Let's swing back this way for a minute. So this rack in the middle of the room, which I can't get far enough back. Um, this rack is, uh, this side is all my coats. So you can see I've got Burberry coats. Lots of these are Burberry, 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 Burberry. And then we get to these cardigans. So these are my Louis Vuitton cardigans and Hermes pieces. So yeah, so that's all my ready to wear there. Um, these are my cushions that go with the blankets that are currently packed away because it's summer here. But that's how I store all my jackets. If we come around the other side again, Oh, there's my, there's my filming area. There's more ready to wear on this side. So, uh oh, uh, so these are the pieces that I picked up in Paris. You can see my Virgil jumper there. You can see lots of Fendi pieces um, and ponchos. There is one of my husband's jackets in there on oh, no, a couple of jackets in there. Um, so, yeah, so these are the pieces that I'm not currently using because it's still too um, warm but they just get stored in here the rest of the ready wear is all in, always in my wardrobe and you can see <laughs> boxings and unboxings yet to come yeah they're all the things that I have bought that we are waiting to unbox so let's go down here so you can see yes palette racking people hate my palette racking i remind you all they are inanimate objects they do not know what they are sitting on <laughs> and it is handy because i need the space so you can see i've got a little stool over here for when i can't reach and that's my luggage storage area over there so i just did my collection mess on my luggage um, so you can see all my louis vuitton luggage and then behind it is all my remoa luggage which I usually travel with um, but if I back up you can see so there's never falls at the top speedies and these steep speedies are a couple deep so if I take this one out you can see there's more behind there so that's full of speedies up there oh there we go uh, moisture these are important here so these are moisture captures and I um, usually replace them once a month so I make sure that I have them here all the time to make sure I don't get mold this is all my travel stuff um, so like toiletry um, pouches packing cubes that kind of stuff so that's all my travel stuff two lonely little denim pieces because all the other denim pieces are still with Louis Vuitton under repairs you can see that my um, petite mouths are all there in a line 
my long shot bag with the conversion kit from uh, handbag angels which is awesome i love that conversion kit um, handbag angels are always linked in my description box down below if you're interested this conversion kit is awesome we have my kappa scenes there and there is gwen she is sitting there pride of place and all my twists are over here this is my dior shelf so these are all my dior bags so the lighting's not great because I don't want strip lighting in here um, and it is just palette racking but I know where every single bag is if you asked me to come in here and locate a bag I can do it instantly I know where every single piece is down the bottom we have my kangaroo pieces they're hiding in there we've got spare or unused at the moment organizers mainly for my long shop ones which are packed down and that entire um 70 liter storage tub is full of dust bags extra dust bags so yes so that's that palette racking if i swing her around we then have more so this palette racking holds at the top sunshine shopper totes um, book totes devils and a few more neverfuls then we then have a whole shelf of murakami pieces but there are still murakami pieces missing that are off being repaired but at the moment that's my murakami shelf with some spattered through other parts uh, chanel chanel takes up two racks so we've got my uh, 19s my amelia rose bag is in there my beautiful belt bags all my woks they're all my woks there if we come down these are all my minis all lined up like little soldiers and the couple that i have that are either seasonal or the leftover medium classic flaps and then all my jumbo classic flaps are in there so that's all of them almas we have my alma shelf and that's what the almas all look like lined up and then we've got luggage at the bottom so these are all key poles and my xl clay lives down there in the corner up here we have all my on the goes and cousins and they're all cousins up there and then they are all my pochette matisses it's hard to see but they're all lined up and my Hermes um, beach bag, which is about to come with me on a cruise. And then I've got some of my um, men's collection just here and a Felici, so that sits there. We have uh, my multi pochettes and more twists. Uh, this is really a bits and pieces um, shelf. I've got my um, Noe's, I've got um, Treville's at the back, I've got my side trunk, I've got my nano speedies here because they don't fit with the other speedies. If we come down, we've got Hermes. So these are all my Hermes bags here. All the Birkins and the Mini Kelly. I know that people right now are having a heart attack. Oh my goodness, how can I store such beautiful bags on pallet racking? They don't know. They don't know where they are. They're fine with it. <laughs> um, my Pickertons are down here. And my 4A Lepage bag is there. I have more luggage and bigger bags down the bottom here. And then if I swing around. More Neverfuls. All my um, unique bags pretty much live on one shelf. These are my really unique bags. Fendi Firsts take up an entire shelf plus a little bit extra. So they're all my Fendi Firsts. And they also come down to here, more Fendi Firsts. These are my minis um, baguettes. And then we have midis and regular baguettes on this shelf. This shelf is a bits and pieces shelf. So there are more Fendi's in there, obviously. But then this is like Gucci, Mulberry, um, Versace, um, Burberry, a few bags that my dad have given me at the back, hiding at the back there. So these are all my bits and pieces. 
and then we have another row of keepalls down the bottom and then over here next to where I usually film which I used to see in shot before I changed the setup we have another hat rack here and that has bags that hang off it as well so these are all those bags and then I will come around here and oh my dehumidifier is important I run this as well especially when there's a lot of rain and humidity in the air so I'll run that to suck the water out of the air to keep everything mold free and then these are my scarves <laughs> So people often ask me about my scarves. These are all my scarves. I have quite a few scarves. So these are twillies on the end here and a lot of them are doubled up because I have so many now. I need to get myself a second tie rack for them. And then if we go along, you can see all the scarves that I have. There are lots. So every single uh, coat hanger has a scarf on it. And I think uh how many i think there's 50 like maybe 150 coat hangers i've used i'm going off how many boxes i've got left because i bought them in bulk and then the scarves get bigger as we go through some of these you saw in my scarf video which i'll link down below and then we're going to winter scarves so i've done it from smallest to biggest but i've also done like silks and then we come down and we get into cashmere and we get warmer so there is organization in my mind <laughs> i don't know if anyone else would organize like this but this is how i organize and then we come down to my exceptional pieces down here so i've got minks so this is a mink uh, this is a mink and then this is my exceptional scarf from hermes which we saw in my scarf video and then we have some belts so down this end are all my belts so you can see we have Kelly belts. We've got my big belt. Oops. We've got my big belt from Louis Vuitton. And we've got my belt from Hermes. So that's where all my belts live. I don't have a lot of belts, but I've got some belts. So let me see how far back I can get. So you can see over there, there's my filming area. There is a fan in the room, but I really don't put it on because, yeah. <laughs> I don't want stuff everywhere. Um, some of my bags hang so you can see my record just hanging there. So this is my bag room for people who wanted to see it. Is it sleek and new and amazing? No, no, it is not. But it is perfectly me. It is organized. It makes me happy. So this is the door. And when I walk in the door... And I look at my bag room, so this is from the door, it makes me incredibly happy. I love my bag room. I love my organisation. It might not be what people think it should be. It is not museum-like. They don't all sit on their own little shelf with a light behind it. I don't care about any of that. I care that I see them. I care that they are set up how they make me happy. Um, I don't necessarily want them to be museum pieces. I just, I want to enjoy them. So this is my happy place. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my bag room and how I set it up. Hopefully you've been able to see a little bit of how I store my bags. They are all out of their dust bags. They all sit. Um, some of them touch, some of them don't, but I haven't had any issues with mold. I haven't had any issues with damage. They are all just sitting nicely, waiting to be used. I can come in at any given time, choose what I want and wander off with it. So yeah, I hope that has satisfied everybody's need to see my bag room. So that is my bag room. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. Um, it is what it is for now. I am confined to this room. I cannot outgrow this room. When we do our house renovations, I most certainly have ideas in my head of what I would like it to look like. But to be perfectly honest and frank, even then the shelves will resemble something like pallet racking. It is a simple matter of space. 
this is my collection it will continue to grow it will continue to evolve and ultimately I don't want it to be in a factory unit so I need to keep it within a certain space for that to happen so if that means that bags sit one next to each other on the shelf then I'm okay with it I understand it distresses some people but ultimately it's my bag collection um, and it suits me and this is how I, I'm fine with it stored the way it is. I don't stress about it. It doesn't distress me in any way. Even having the palette racking behind me when I used to, um, when I first started YouTube, that never concerned me. It concerned a lot of people watching me, but it certainly didn't concern me. And I love my bag room. So even when I do the upgrades, it will look to the house and I, and I have a wardrobe room and I have my clothes nearby, which will most certainly make my life easier it will probably be sleeker it might be and it will probably be you know white shelving but it's certainly not going to ever be one bag on each shelf with its own special light i just can't do it not unless someone wants to fund or bankroll my museum which i am most certainly open to because i would love to have a museum but as long as my collection is housed in my house it has to be um space um, saving functional in some way and this works for me so I'm sorry if it's not exactly what you thought it should be or what you expected it to be but this is home and I love my home I love where I live I love my house I love my collection and this is just this is just me I understand I probably don't make a lot of sense to a lot of people that you expect me to be one thing but I'm not necessarily all that complicated I'm pretty simple actually <laughs> um, so yes I, I hope that you have enjoyed seeing this and that it brings you some understanding of what I look at when I sit in this room and I talk to you guys and what I see around me and when you see me looking off into the distance because I'm trying to look for a bag that I'm talking about that's why because I can see them all and like I said, if you asked me to find any bag in this room, any pair of shoes, anything that lives in this room, if you said to me, you know, Meredith, go and find that, I could find it instantly without having to look for it. That's how well I know my collection, even though it is this size. So I hope you've had a fabulous New Year's Eve or a New Year's Day or whenever you watch this video. Maybe you're watching this video and it's August. Whenever you watch this video, I hope you've had a fabulous day. But for those of you watching on New Year's Eve, I hope that you are safe. I hope that you've had a wonderful time with amazing people. And let's go into 2024 and just have a brilliant, brilliant year. If you've liked today's video, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also remember to hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which in 2024 will be twice a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection, my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.